Hi y'all, thanks for clicking on the link and coming to see me. I'm glad I can make these videos for you again. I uh, went ahead and tested the cells that Jenny Wu just sent me recently. Uh, I just did a video about these cells and, and um, these are 304 amp hour cells, a good bit larger than the 280 amp hour cells that I've used on my previous projects. And I've gone ahead and tested them all. I tested them with the Zakitek. It's the EBC A40L tester that I use to test all these cells. I've tested hundreds of cells with this tester. And I use these other uh, power supplies to help me move the process along. But the tests all get done with this one. These, these will test the, I'm sorry, will charge the cells up uh, to near the uh, near full capacity and then I use the the EBC A40L to finish charging them up so I test I charge them at 3.65 volts at 40 amps until they get to full voltage and then they continue to to charge at a descending amperage rate until they get down to one amp and then I'll let them rest for 30 minutes and then I'll discharge them at 40 amps until they get down to 2.5 volts and that uh, whatever the amp hours is there is what goes into my spreadsheet. Uh, these cells tested at 312.9 amp hours for cell number one. Cell number two tested at 314.4 amp hours. Cell number three tested at 307.6 amp hours and cell number four tested at 313.5 amp hours. Uh, their rated capacity is 304 so they all tested above that. This cell tested a little lower than the other three but uh, I was pretty pleased with those results and um, I thought about the these cost a little bit more than the 280 amp hour cells and and they cost uh, around nine I'm sorry around 14% uh, more but the uh, capacity is only about 9% more and I thought about that and and I think that's actually deceiving because that's just the cost of the cell the shipping is the same whether you buy the larger or the smaller cells so that gets the cost difference, uh, relative, the ratio, to be a little bit closer to parity. And then I started thinking about the other costs involved in building my DIY batteries. Well, the BMS is going to be the same price, and the box is going to be the same to build, the fuses and the disconnects, and all of those parts, uh, the rods and everything else is going to be the same cost but you're going to have more capacity. These will build a battery that's over 15 kilowatt hours and the 280 amp hour is going to build a battery that's um, only around 14 kilowatt hours. And so I, uh, I started thinking and if I had the decision to do all over again, I think I would, I wish I could have built them all out of 304 amp hour uh, cells might have used seven batteries instead of eight would have been close to the same capacity um, and used less floor space. Uh, one of the things I wanted to address on the last video I made where I received these and unboxed them and um, talked about my experiences working with Jenny Wu, uh, there were some people that said that I should peel these black uh, covers off because there might be uh, this QR code might be scratched off and, and redone and so I did and uh, I, I don't see any evidence of scratching here it's uh, there's some glue but I don't see any evidence of scratching here and uh, I went ahead and peeled them all back and they're all the same. I don't see any evidence that these have been tampered with or altered. 
but uh, I think that that may be coming from what I made that video about uh, last week, which was there are people, Jenny Wu has gotten such a great reputation as an honest salesperson and a hard worker that uh, she is being um, she is being copied on on uh, Alibaba and AliExpress. People are pretending to be her to try to cash in on her good name. And if you go to AliExpress and try to order from Jenny Wu, well, you know you're not going to be dealing with Jenny Wu because they've never done business on AliExpress. They do business on Alibaba. But even there, there are a dozen or more people trying to pretend to be her and Alibaba is not uh, shutting that activity down. So if you want to buy these cells, you should contact Jenny Wu directly at um, Jenny Wu, W-W-U, uh, 896 at gmail.com. And uh, she'll uh, run a contract through her company, Dokkan Power, and she'll... Um, it will run through Alibaba as well. You'll have all the protections of working with Alibaba for what it's worth, and um, and she'll take good care of you. Uh, another thing I want to address is this issue of uh, the way I test these cells. I put them in restraint before I charge them up. I don't want these to expand. Now, I don't have a lot of pressure on them. As you can see, I can, I, I use a torque wrench to tighten these up, but they're, after testing them and running them through a cycle, there are little enough pressure on these that, and you can see they're, they're not expanding when I loosen these. I can loosen them just with a socket with my hand and they're uh, they're still going to be nice and flat. Let's just take a look. Mm-hmm. And um. So I would recommend that you keep these restrained when you start running them through charge cycles and not ever uh, run them without restraint, not ever run them through cycles without restraint because once they expand, I have uh, seen people try to compress them back to flat uh, but I've also seen on the forums where people have had uh, problems with short, shorted out batteries uh, after doing that. And they couldn't, couldn't say why their battery shorted out and overheated. But my fear is that once they expand and those cell structures grow out, and then you try to crush them back, that those cell structures break through the, the tiny micro thin uh, foil that separates those cells. And so I would suggest to you that you not uh, try to use these batteries without restraint. And I don't mean compression, squeezing them down, really just a warm hug from your mom just so they can't grow and grow and grow. Let them, let them grow into that restraint system that you put in, but let it hold them so that they don't just keep growing and growing and growing, as you may have seen on some other channels where that happens. And then uh, you do you. This is me doing me. This is how I'm going to do uh, mine. Uh, and so... Uh, that's that's going to be about it for this video. I uh, hope you got something out of it. And when you get ready to buy these cells, 
it's a scary thing. I hope you, uh, I hope you can choose wisely and have good fortune in uh, purchasing these sales. And if you, uh, if you do have any problems, I hope you have a, a contact that will take care of you uh, in trying to work those things out. And that's it. Can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.